In this video, we unlock Platinum Snipers. I don't, like, in this video, we unlock Platinum Snipers. Here it is on the MCPR 300. Oh my God. Here it is on the MCPR 300. Here it is on the Signal 50. It's kind of hard to see. Here it is on the LAB 330. And here it is on the SPX 80. Although to be fair, Spectrums is still probably better than Platinum. <laughs> But we obviously have to unlock these first, so here's me unlocking them. For the MCPR 300, we need 20 long shots. Boom, platinum? Yes, sir. For the signal 50, we also need 20. We have six out of 20, 420 minus two plus two equals 12. What the fuck? Two shots. What the fuck? Fuck. Hey. Oh, there we go. Platinum uh signal 50. <laughs> Next up is the LAB 330. We have 3 out of 25 long shots. These are annoying, but they're actually not as bad as I thought they would be. No way, I just got a flash kill. Fuck out of my face. Oh my god, get the fuck out of my face. Well, at some point I got platinum, but I guess I didn't see it pop up, which, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. And for the last one, 25 long shots with the SPX 80. Fuck it out of here. Oh my fucking God. God damn. There it is. There's me missing all my shit. <laughs> and now the interesting thing with the platinum camo in this game, which obviously isn't really news at this point because I'm super, I've actually had these done for a couple days now, but I've just been grinding. I have two of the launchers golds. I have the other two level 11 so that I can do the gold challenge. I have the right shield and the combat knife level 11 so that I can do the challenges, the gold challenges. Jesus Christ. And I think I started, I started working on the, uh, whatever the first handgun is. I don't know what level it's at, but, but the interesting thing about platinum in case you you didn't know is that you don't automatically unlock it when you unlock gold on everything instead again you unlock the platinum challenges which for snipers was either 20 or 25 long shots depending on which sniper it was which isn't bad at all but it is weird that you can have platinum on one sniper and not all snipers because again like i can unlock it on the mcpr but then i don't do the platinum challenges for the signal or the lab so in a weird way it's kind of like obsidian but not as <laughs> we don't need 5,000 kills to get platinum we just need 20 long shots which i mean hardcore isn't out which kind of sucks but you know luckily snipers it's kind of their job to get long shots anyway so what it's worth snipers weren't that bad but yeah i don't remember what i was saying but anyway like i said in the golden sniper videos whichever ones i put out yeah sniping is the most fun at least to me that we've had in probably since like i don't know years granted it's not perfect but which is obviously a good thing but now i'm worried that they're just gonna nerf the shit out of it because people are already complaining for some reason which doesn't make sense because it's not i mean to be fair the marksman rifles are a little crazy but that really has nothing to do with the snipers like maybe nerf the marksman rifles i mean everything will obviously be adjusted when warzone comes out because that's just their bread and butter once warzone 2 drops they're not really going to give a shit about 
multiplayer. They will for a couple months, but then after that, it's just gonna be what works in Warzone. But yeah, with that being said, somewhat with that being said, I would probably have to say that my favorite sniper is the LAB, but then again, that's more marksman rifle-y-ish. Oh no. I mean, this SPX is probably, if we had to pick like a arguably legit sniper, and obviously the LAB is classified as a legit sniper, but again, it's like the marksman rifle sniper. The more I, the more I talk about it, there's, there's the more confusing it gets. That's why I'm running the SPX because it's more sniper light. Like this is more like the AX-50 than the, oh shit, bitch. I don't know how to describe it. Like this is more of a sniper than a marksman rifle, whereas the LAB is more of a marksman rifle. I guess that's the easiest way to put it. Fucking bitch. And I choke it, of course. <laughs> what is my camera doing? Fucking piece of shit mount. Nobody was going to tell me that the camera was falling down the whole time. The MCPR isn't a bad sniper rifle, but it's just, it's just kind of the one that's like in the way, I guess. And the Signal 50, I actually had a lot of fun with. Not at first, but after, you know, once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty nasty. It's still slow. It's not, you know, not as fast as the SPX or the LAB, but oof. Oh, she thick, but she got the Colette. <laughs> Ooh, oh. <laughs> and even though Platinum is clean as hell, I'll once again stand on the fact that if Spectrums was animated, I mean, it'd be nice if I could get some sunlight. If Spectrums was animated, this could easily be a mastery camo, but it's just a base camo. So, you know, they kind of did it dirty, but that has nothing to do with anything, really. Learn to snipe. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I'm right here. I'm right here. Where you at? I mean, yes. <laughs> On a more random note, uh, whoever's in charge decided to give out. Oh my God, buddy. They decided to give out the double XP to everyone who bought the vault edition because originally it was supposed to just be those who bought it via the in-game store, but I pre-ordered it through Steam and not through, because obviously Vanguard was on Battle.net, Blizzard, whatever you want to call it, right? So I figured that if I wanted it on Steam, I couldn't buy it. Like, why would Battle.net let me pre-order it on Steam? Like, that's just a competitor. So I figured they were going to, like, lock me into Steam. I mean, lock me into Battle.net. So I pre-ordered it on Steam, forgetting that it had to be in-game. So then, uh, oh my lord. So then I was kind of out of the 10 XP, the 10 hours of X. I can't talk today worth the shit. It's pretty fucking bananas. But I guess I realized that most people were confused by that or like just didn't read. Like I was fine with, you know, taking the L because I was a moron, but I guess they kind of felt bad because nobody, oh my God, if this thing could just ADS a little bit faster, but I guess I ended up feeling bad because everyone's half fucking stupid. So they decided to give everyone who uh, bought the vault edition the 10 hours of XP, which is actually coming in pretty clutch because again, I was able to max out the two of the launchers, the riot shield, the combat knife not max out but get them to level 11 so that i could start working on the gold challenges so i was able to unlock the gold challenges for two of the launchers the riot shield the uh combat knife and i got the oh that's crazy and i got the first handgun to level i want to say at least 15 ish which doesn't sound like much but that's like 50 levels and like i think i only use like two or three hours of xp so i don't think that it'll you know be enough to get me through everything but even still like that's i should at least have most of the annoying shit out of the way but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of this double weapon xp to try to level up as much as i can to make this grind a little bit easier don't forget to subscribe i'm 37x thank you for watching now get off me